Today we have eight hoopers, but one of them is secretly a millionaire. It's me. <laughs> round by round, our judge, Jesser, will vote off who he believes is not the millionaire hooper. If the judge can guess correctly, Jesser will win. But if Jesser guesses incorrectly, the group will collectively win. Off rip, who do you think it is? You, know, <laughs> you don't just look at someone and be like, yeah, that dude's a millionaire. What's going on? My name is Nelly. I have just a couple million dollars. Andy Tay. I got a couple million too. He looks rich. <laughs> really? I'm Sale. I got a mill or two. What's up, y'all? Jamal, I got a couple mil. Carlos Los, I recently Ooh. just hit a mill. Oh, guys, I'm Pookie. I got under five mil. What's up, guys? I'm Jordan Bentley. I got a few million dollars. What's going on, guys? My name is TK. I got anywhere from two to five mil. Jesse, you are a millionaire yourself, so I would hope <laughs> that you could spot out a fellow millionaire. I don't know right? if it works like that. So you're saying he <laughs> looks rich? He does. Nelly. Not Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> Andy is just, I don't know, bro. He's just giving me like rich vibes. He's not worried about anything. Yeah, he's just living <laughs> life. Anybody else? Off rip. Jordan. Jordan. He's giving me rich vibes. He does have a diamond necklace. <laughs> First round is we're going to ask about your hoop shoes. Honestly, Everybody has nice kicks on. Nelly got the fear of gods on. Hey, Nelly, what percentage of your money do you spend on your shoes? Not a lot, probably like five percent. So you spend like a hundred k on shoes? A year, probably. Yeah. A year? What shoes did you buy in this last year that cost that much money? I bought the Kobe Jordan Three Eight Pet. That was like twenty five thousand. Hey, Andy. Yeah. What's your most expensive shoe? Some Foragamos. Shoes. Maybe he's, he's rich because he's not wasting 100k on shoes. shoes. Marcel, how much do you spend on shoes a year? 15 to 20k. I wear a big size though. Mm. All right, Jamal, what is the most amount of shoes you bought in one purchase? Say about five. Well, what kind of shoes were those? Two pair of ones, a pair of breads, and vans. Carlos, how'd you make your money? Big amount of it from inheritance. Oh. Uh, started with e-commerce. Okay, good to know. Pookie, talk to us, bro. How much do you spend on shoes a year? Probably like 10, 10,000. What's your nicest pair? Jordan 1 yours. Damn. Those are bro. nice, yeah. How much was that necklace? Oh, 10,000. We should have mm. got you a diamond tester. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, what's the most amount of shoes you bought in one day? Two. Bro, but you got the bread. Like, you never wanted to splurge on yourself? It's not a sneakerhead. What do you splurge your money on? Uh, I'd say like traveling or like, Clothes sometimes. Okay. Mm. What's the most amount of shoes you buy in one, one day? Maybe like 10? Dang. <laughs> <laughs> TK, what's good? What car do you drive? Uh, G Wagon. Dang! Okay. Nice. What kind of G Wagon? 2021. When did you make your money? I made most of it probably within the last like two years. I do wholesale, wholesale real estate. You got your money two years ago and you also got the G-Wagon two years ago. No, no, I didn't, I didn't get it in, in that oh, year. Oh, it's just I, it's an just, older it's model? Just, yeah, it's an older model. It's used? No, I got new. They be having new old ones? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Nelly, 100K to 50K a year on shoes, I feel like yeah. he was capping to me. I'm voting him off! Nelly has been voted off. And Jesse does not believe he is a millionaire hooper. We're moving on to the next round. There are seven hoopers left, and hopefully Jesse did not vote off the millionaire. In round number two, we're gonna ask some questions about how many NBA games they've been to and how much they splurge on events in general. Do you have any questions for anybody? If you sat courtside, raise your hand. All right, now for everyone who hasn't raised their hand, you're a millionaire, you never want to sit courtside once. One day, that's, that's my dream. Hopefully you take me, Jesse. I'm not taking you. <laughs> Come on. Usually if I, I have been to the games or NBA, it's been in sweets. Mm. TK didn't raise his hand. I didn't raise my hand, no. I mean, I know, I know a few NBA dudes, so like I'd be around them, so I, I don't know. I mean, sitting courtside, it's, it's, it's not that, that crazy to me. What job or occupation or business do you own? Yeah, so I'm in sales and marketing. Our company is called Cornerstone Marketing Concepts, and we represent telecommunication companies like AT&T. So do you have any ownership in this company? Yes. How much? 40%. Sell? So? I hoop professionally. Where? Overseas. Where? I mean, I've been in a bunch of different countries. Right now, who do you play for? I'm about to go sign to an Australian team. So you're not signed yeah. right now? No, not right now. What's the Australian team's name? I mean, there's Sharks. Isn't that Shanghai? That's Shanghai Sharks. That's Shanghai Sharks. I would say Shanghai. I'm going to need you to name every team you played on in Europe right now. Definitely played in South America. Who? What team? San Telmo. What year did you start? 2021. And you've been playing since then? You guys want to ask these questions any faster? Or like... 
I mean, so how long have you been playing professionally? Four years now. So twenty four years. Twenty twenty three. Counting tw your your time off. Four counting the year I was injured. So. And you made yes. your money from hooping. Yes. What was your biggest contract? My biggest contract. Six figures. What was the contract? I mean, it was six figures. He's sus to me. Okay, sus. Okay, we'll go to someone else, but he's sus to me. All right, uh, Jamal, what is your occupation? Occupation, I got my own clothing brand. I work with Vans, Nike, Adidas, Zoomies. Wait, so how do you work with these brands, with your brand? They buy my product. What's your product? Clothing brand. So you make clothes for these other companies? Well, they use my product and they sell it in their stores. So you're a manufacturer? Yeah. So what is your product? Clothing brand. Is it a clothing collab, or is it you're producing the clothes for them? It's a clothing collab. Now that's different from what he said earlier. Jamal is sus. Carlos? Uh, business owner, e-commerce. How many products have you, do you sell a day? Like how much is the Shopify bringing in a day? Range from thousand, one here, 500. Pookie, talk to me, what's the job? Uh, my family owns a couple liquor stores and laundromats. But your money? Yeah, my family let me take over too. Are you lying to me? <laughs> <laughs> no. How much does a laundromat make a year? Well, we make about 2,000 a day for each laundromat. Bro, they, may, they pay in with quarters. You know how many quarters that yeah. would be? How much does the liquor store bring in a day? Like 20. 20,000? 20, 20 a month. But the laundromat's 10K a day? Yeah, there's a lot of people that be popping in there. How much do you guys charge for a wash? Like 250. Big mass. And dry. About, about a little bit under 5,000. About 4,000 <laughs> users a day. Yeah, LA's popping. But how many laundry machines do you have? Like 30. 30? It takes about an hour to wash, right? I got 30 times 4,000. It'll take. 120,000 hours. Did you do washer and dryer? I did it. Oh. So divide by two, 60,000 hours. All right. All right, Jordan. Jordan, what do you do? I make clothes. What's your company name? Oh yeah, it's called Hypeland. We do like a bunch of anime stuff. How much of this company do you own? 100%. Oh, okay. How much did you say your net worth was? A couple million. Is that your shirt? Yeah. Who was the last collab y'all just did? Sonic. Damn, is that yeah. right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know enough about this company? I just know, like, they're popping, bro. They're they're big time. We just go, we just go hold off on Jordan. I've got some confidence. Okay, in okay, you go TK. Okay. He's commercial real estate, right? Com uh, um, Hoso. Yeah, I'm like the middleman. I've decided the math is not mathing. Pookie, right. you are eliminated. Okay, Pookie is eliminated. I don't believe these numbers. I'm a little scared he was the millionaire, I'm not gonna lie. Everyone's stories are storying. Guys, I just dropped my first ever shorts in collaboration with Bucket Squad. Dream bigger, work harder, and shoot for the stars. In the last year, we gained 5 million subscribers and joined Bucket Squad. And just like the meaning of these shorts, anything is possible when you put your mind to it. It's available right now, link below on BucketSquad.com. Guys, we're only planning to drop a limited amount, so cop it while you can. This wouldn't be possible without you guys, so I love y'all for always supporting me and now let's find out who the millionaire is and we are now down to six hoopers in round number three we're gonna ask about their lifestyle where they play basketball what gym memberships they have I go to 24 hour fitness same boat I go to 24 LA fitness what's the nicest gym you've hooped at Mom Academy. so do you play pickup I mean how do I get better well, definitely not against 24-hour fitness bums, bro. I mean, it's cardio. That's true. There's some nice people at 24. I mean, nice bums. I just disrespected everyone. Jamal, talk to us. We're at 24 LA Fitness Sports Academy. Okay. Multiple memberships. Yep. Yeah. Uh, mainly the Mamba Sports Academy. Okay. 24-hour fitness and the Bay Club in El Segundo. TK? Uh, 24 as well, but also some lifetime when I be out in Vegas. So you, you said you drove a Ferrari earlier, right? No, a G-Wagon. <laughs> I was trying to test him. <laughs> uh, well, what did you drive, bro? Yeah, what Tesla. You... Which model? Three. What car are you driving, Andy? Uh, I drove the Model 3 today. Checks out. Okay. Model X, big body. Did you lease it? I mean, leasing it is good for credit, so. So you telling me you play overseas, but you're doing some long-term leases out here in America. That's a good point. Sus. Ready to vote someone out. Jesse, who are you going to vote off? I'm not too familiar with overseas money for contracts, but I don't believe that they are that high. So therefore, Marcel is gonna vote it out. I just wanna let you know that there are some contracts that are way, Not way your contract. All right. 
I think he feels disrespected. Yes, he was upset that <laughs> he probably did get a contract. And we are now down to five hoopers, Jesse. You're coming very close. Moving on to round five, we'll figure out what their daily habits and rituals are. Andy, what do you do on a daily basis? Wake up, take a shower, do a little reading, meditating, and I have my morning meetings with my mastermind group. Mastermind group, wow. Jamal, run me through the day in life. Wake up super early, go to the gym, I might check the cell, see if I did good today. So how many hours do you work a day? I probably work about four to five. What were the most sales in one day? 8K in one day. How much do you do wholesale? What do you mean wholesale? <gasps> what does a usual order from Nike look like? Probably like 300 shirts. That's not checking out to no, me at yeah, all. Yeah, there's so many Nike stores. Yeah, stars. that's not checking out. Well, it's like one... Only 300? 300 out here. Now, Jordan, Jordan, what are your thoughts on this? 300 pieces is a lot for one store. You gotta think, like, not that many people come into a one brick and mortar all the time. Jamal is sus to me. Okay. All right, Carlos, uh, what does your day in the life look like? Uh, I wake up pretty early. Probably checking emails for a couple hours. How many hours do you work a day? Right now, two, three. Damn. Damn. All right, tell us about your day in the life. Um, wake up in the morning, check the stock market. I'll read, like, this book, The Daily Stoic. Like, that's a, that's a rich thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> How many hours a day? Um, it really just kind of depends on the day. I'm in the office from like 9 to 5 usually. How many employees do you guys have? Nine. Do you like Jordan? What do you feel about that? I feel like I've met him before. Did I meet you at a 100 Thieves party? Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, day in the life. Uh, just wake up, meditate, read a little bit. Then I'm probably going to the gym. Have some calls with my team. How like, big's the team? Only like seven, eight. I mean, that's pretty big. That's that's big. A, that's a, that's a. Remember, Jesse, there are two millionaire hoopers. You just have to guess one correct. All right. For this round, I'll be voting out Jamal. Jamal. I have a question for everyone. Who is the richest person you know that I might also know? Andy. Jeff Bowie. Jeff Bowie. He's my cousin. Is he a millionaire? I don't know. He's your cousin. Probably he's the owner, part owner of Riff. Um, so he's out there. Jordan, who's the most famous person you know? We have some NBA players, um, like in our DMs, we did a collab with the NBA. TK? Famous person I know, I mean, Paul George. Why do you need so many employees? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> why do you have, why, why eight, bro? Like They're working for me, they're making my calls, um, finalizing some sales sometimes. You know what, TK, I believe you're lying to me. I feel like wholesale real estate sounds like something that's like, oh, that would be a millionaire. Mm -hmm. I don't think you're the millionaire hooper, so I'm voting you out. TK has been voted off, and we are now down to the final three hoopers. Confidence level out of 100, what do you say? I'm pretty certain that I'm looking at a millionaire right now. What was the first purchase you made when you hit your first million dollars? Mm. Like, Honestly, I couldn't even tell you. It was probably food. Mm. I bought some food too, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like he might be rich, but he's not a spender. Carlos? Uh, well, I kind of had an idea that I was about to hit it, so I had planned a trip while we were going to hit it. So you did a one mil network celebration? Yeah, 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 yeah. First purchase? So yeah. I bought a G-Wagon that I don't have anymore. What, what happened to the G-Wagon? Sold it. And gas first hit like $5. Out here, I was like, oh yeah, nah, I can't do that no more. <laughs> Who are you debating with today? I'm confident in Jordan. Let's just say that five of the homies go out. Like, okay. are you, do you just pay for everyone because you're just like that, like Rich Lowe? Like it depends uh, what the situation is. If we're celebrating someone, yeah. Um, we're just going out, everyone's just on their own, then they're paying on their own. That was realistic. How come you've never recruited Jeff to your company? Oh, Jeff has worked with us before. Oh, that's where you worked? I used to work with that. So he was managing people y'all worked with? Yeah, Jeff was. Okay, so you know, before YouTube, I knew Jeff was a manager of some cell phone service thing. Yes. And now it's checking out. So like, <laughs> now... Carlos, I'm voting you out. What I just learned, I had to vote you out. Uh, and now with this new information, I think there was two, and I think they're both on the court. If you were to have to vote off one person, who would you keep on? You know what? I think there's a 1% chance that Jordan just works for Hypeland. But I mean, this new information that I just got, if you really worked for him, he has to be. So, but the question is, how do you know he didn't work in the company with me? Oh, he could be lying too. But they're both, both sides, right? I mean, I believe them both. I think they're both the millionaires. But if you had to choose one person. All right, you know what? I'll keep Jordan. If I had to, but I think it's both. I mean, um, he's checking the stock market when he wakes up, bro. Like, okay, fair. <laughs> all right, Jesse. After all the deliberation, Jesse has decided that the two millionaire hoopers are on the right-hand side, Andy and Jordan. If Jordan is the millionaire hooper, Jesse, you win. But if he's not, you lose. I'm nervous, so, bro. Will the millionaire hooper 
Take two steps forward. One, two, three. Oh. And Jesse, yes! you have Let's won. Go! Let's go. Good job, bro. Yes. You're a great go. investigator. Cop the shorts right now. Work harder, dream bigger, and shoot for the stars. I love you guys. Until next time, peace. peace.